Hello, and welcome to Coast Guard Aviation Technical Training Center in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. My name is Chief Aviation Maintenance Technician Adam McNeil, and today we're going to do a Coast Guard how-to video on the proper installation of breakaway wire in an aircraft. Uh, the FAA Advisory Circular AC2199 explains to us the proper application and methods for installing breakaway wire in an aircraft. There are two types of breakaway wire used in aviation, seal wire and shear wire. Seal wire is 32,000 aluminum wire that is sealed with a lead seal containing identification information, and those are typically used on boxes or hatches. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is 20,000 copper wire known as shear wire, and that is used on emergency switches and systems uh, that are typically stowed but sometimes actuated in flight, but frequently need to be re safety this method that we will use today is called single strand application. Let's say today during a flight, an overzealous pilot flipped the wrong switch. That is gonna to have to be corrected when the flight returns. In order to do this, you're gonna to need to follow a couple simple steps. First, remove the remnants of the breakaway wire from the switch. Then, after all the maintenance that is needed to be accomplished has been performed, reset the switch. Next, we're gonna acquire the wire needed to replace. To do that, we're gonna select a 20,000th copper wire as indicated by the label. We're gonna take about six to 12 inches of this using the tools of the trade, diagonal cutting pliers and duckbill pliers. Then the maintainer is going to insert the breakaway wire through the top contact point down to the securing hardware on the aircraft. And pull enough through that they can work with. Then the maintainer is going to apply between five and seven, most often six, wraps of the wire around the lower section. At no point do you want to twist both wires together or over tighten, as that puts tension on the copper and can lead to premature failure of the device. You're gonna to wanna to make careful note to secure the loose end as to not puncture the maintainer or the operator with the wire. Then reset the guard and pull the wire taut. Then you're gonna make between five to seven, in this case six, wraps around the top contact point on the switch. And that is six turns, and then you're gonna do the same. You're gonna snip off the loose end and tuck the excess where it cannot contact the operator. And now you're gonna remove all scraps from the work area and discard those. When installing shear wire, make sure you have your proper PPE and you're using the proper tool protocols at your air station. Also, remember to remove any leftover bits and discard those properly. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.